so I recorded this video where I'm making myself look super glamorous for a fancy dinner that me and my family had in our house because um quarantine and we're bored. Some of it's pretty stupid so I considered scrapping it but you know what this channel is a safe space for me to shit post so here you are. Also I just think it's kind of funny to like lift the veil on glamour because at the end of the process you know you look so fabulous but the whole time that you're getting there you're just like fucking around and you're making a fool of yourself. So here's a video of me making myself glamorous. Part one was I painted my nails and I did it on camera but it's boring so my nails are wet for part of this beginning of the video. While these bitches are drying let's look for some inspiration. Fix these hair inspo. Oh my god. No. Hey, look, it's my twin. I think I might just be the poor man's elf Annie. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo. Huh? What? Me, never done. Yeah. I'm definitely not recording myself looking at hair right now. Recording yourself do what? Making a video where I become glamorous, which is gonna take a lot of work, as you can see from my songs. What is this? It's a cool song. I just wanted to share this with you. Hmm. My nails are wet because I'm being glamorous. Thanks for the donation. I'm so glamorous, I have a butler. Not easy to eat this. Oh yeah, I yeah, look just like me. <laughs> How do you get your hair this big? Okay, okay, I'm getting a vibe here. So we're gonna go for some like Brigitte Bardot glam extravaganza. I don't know how I'm gonna turn myself into a like classic iconic 60s sex pot bombshell blonde, but <laughs> we're gonna try. I took all of my inspiration images and I made them into this absolutely horrifying collage in this like bunk ass program called Photoscape X because I don't know how to use Photoshop because I'm a fraud. Uh, <laughs> and then I proceeded to save it as an abomination dot JPEG. So here's my art in all of its glory. Graphic design is my passion. It's 10.30 a.m. and I most definitely do not have to start doing my makeup yet, but when do you ever get to be glamorous? Take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you. I don't know what I'm doing. There's only one thing missing. So glamorous, I'm so glam. Doing my makeup this day took fucking forever like it was 40 minutes of me just struggling to do a cut crease because as it turns out those are really hard so this footage isn't very funny because I was focusing really hard on trying to make my makeup not look stupid <laughs> the only time in my actual daily life that I'm ever glamorous is when I dry my setting spray like this. <laughs> so now we move on to the hair, which I already know is gonna be <laughs> much more of a challenge than the makeup because the hair has never been that big in my life. I already curled my hair yesterday. So it is curled and a little bit uh, <laughs> voluminous, whatever you would call this. So we're not just starting from scratch. You can also see this sick curling iron burn that I gave myself. Yes, I'm a bad bitch, watch out. You know, okay, we, we got a pretty bouncy place to start with. Let's, let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna have to tease it, but I don't really know how to do that. Okay, okay, maybe I should uh, clip this away. Put some dry shampoo in this bitch and back comb it. Okay, um... This is bad for your hair. Ooh. Oh my god, what? I can't believe you can just, what? Hair is crazy. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Did I do it? Is it big now? <laughs> If Brigitte Bardot had to do this to her hair all the time, it must have been so damaged. She needed some Olaplex after all this abuse. I mean, it's poofier, kind of. 
I just fell on my own rope. Um, I'm about to look real stupid. <laughs> this is horrendous. I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm trying to open my bag of elastics while also holding my hair in place. Okay, I can tie it and then I can push it forward with bobby pins. So hard. <laughs> it doesn't look like a bouffant at all. This has just been 20 minutes of me struggling to make a bouffant and failing. This is not a bouffant. This is as good as it's gonna get. Time to absolutely drench myself in hairspray. Mmm, crispy. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Ugh. Now we move on to just straight up playing dress up, which is always the most fun part. Glamour. As you can see, this look really goes well with my outfit. Glamour. I have a few options that I can't decide between, so I'm just gonna put on all of them and See how I feel with this fucking ridiculous hairdo. I have this incredible vintage coat that I would like to wear because I picked it up recently and haven't been able to wear it because I'm not allowed to go outside. Option number one is very 60s. Uh, the other two are quite 70s. This is how fashion YouTubers do it, right? They just stand on their beds. It goes really well with my socks. That's important. It's very cute with this coat. I feel like a fancy lady going to a fancy event. <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, lol, literally who even am I? Who is this bitch? I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Option number two, very 70s. Also looks good with my socks. This is a look. I might just have to wear this out of the house. Maybe without the bouffant. And finally, option number three. I love this dress and I never get to wear it because why? Why would I go outside in this? I don't even know why I bought this other than that it's beautiful and I couldn't help myself. I wish I was less afraid to go out being this glam in my real life because like I would not go outside looking like this. <laughs> it's also not quite the same shade of orange so I thought it might just look horrible but it's cute. It kind of works. And looking great with my socks. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I need to just sit down and have a think about this. Luckily, uh, dinner is not till, I don't know, six, maybe seven, and it is currently 12 o'clock. <laughs> I got ready way too early because um, I don't have anything better to do. I should really just like make this into a crop top and the bottom into a separate skirt piece, and then I would wear them both all the time. Like this top with jeans would be adorable. I can't believe how hot I look. <laughs> when normally I look like a little troll. I do be looking like a troll while I'm editing. <laughs> it's all hair and makeup, baby. I love these tools of deception. One downside is my eyes are now super dry from all the eye makeup that I put on. <laughs> Doesn't feel good. I guess now I just have to wait until five o'clock rolls around. But I'll be glamorous while I do it. <sighs> How could I forget accessories? I have accessorized. I'm so glamorous. I'm gonna keep this fan in my pocket, you know, just in case I need to faint dramatically or splay myself out on a piano or use this simply to calm down. I love how my tone just completely shifts as soon as I look like a fancy lady. I'm just like, it's time to speak in a British accent. I'm going to be dramatic now. I can't be the only person who does that. Definitely other human beings do that. Other people are crazy too. <laughs> Bye, George. I think I've done it. It's a look. It's a vibe. Huh? Eh? The bouffant could use some work. We all, we agree on that. It's fine. All right, well, that was a boring video. We'll see if I scrap it. If you're watching this, then that means I didn't. <laughs> hope you, hope you enjoyed being illuminated on the, the hard work and process that goes behind making a lady look hot. <laughs> As you can see, uh, glamour does not come naturally to me. <laughs>